Hello, welcome. My name is Pastor Aiden Kanyanga. I would like to share with you a very interesting topic about Mary. You know, there are a lot of misunderstandings. Who is Mary? What is Mary? So now, I would like to share to you using the Bible. Everything we really can. So, I would like you to take your Bible and follow with me so that we go together, we move together. So now, I'll just write in the book of Luke see the story about Jesus, what the angel said to Mary when he came to Mary. What did the angel say in the book of Luke chapter 1? Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 31 and 46 to 48. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. 46. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. So now we have seen what the angel told Mary. We have heard. The angel said, Blessed are you among all women. Favored are you. Now See, there are two different words between blessing and holy. Now, today, people, they call Mary as you know, the holy mother of God, whatever. They pray to Mary, which is wrong. That's praying to an idol. You know, when an angel came to Mary, he told her, Blessed are you among all women. I'm sure you can even say, tell your brother, sister, your mother, your child, God bless you. It's a blessing. You know, God told the Israelites that if you obey the voice of the Lord, if you obey and follow all the commandments, all the statutes of God, you will be blessed. So now, let's read it now in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28, so that we know what the God commanded the children of Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 2 to 3, and 15 to 16. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, Observe carefully all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the country. End of the reading. So, so we have read in the book of Deuteronomy that God told them that if you obey, Blessings are coming. So we know that Mary was obedient. Mary was humble before God. Mary feared God. No wonder why the angel came to her and said, You have found favor before God. Because she was humble. And then what did she say? Say, My heart rejoices in the Lord God, my Savior. So you know, Mary also. Respecting God, Mary also 
also regarded God as Savior. So even if Jesus Christ was born through Mary, in the actual sense, Mary also calls Jesus Christ as my father, as my Savior. Because we know when you read in the book of John, in the book of John, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. So meaning Jesus Christ was already existing before he was even born. So he was the one who created everything. The Bible says, with him all things were created, both seen and unseen. So we know that everything that we see were created by God. Even Mary herself was created through Jesus. Because we know that Jesus is God. He is the Son of God. He is God. He was there in the beginning. Before he was born, he was there in the beginning. The Bible tells us so. He was there. So no wonder why Jesus Christ on the cross, he told the disciples whom we love, John, this is your mother. And he told Mary, this is your son. So any other person you can call her mother, even the Bible says, Paul said so. Any other person, any Order who is older than you, you can call him your father, brother, mother. It's so true. So, if we call Mary as our mother, it means we respect her as our mother because she gave birth to Jesus. Yes, we respect her. But notice, this does not make her to be God. No, it does not make her to be God or equal with God. No, Mary is just a normal human. And then after Jesus Christ was born, we know according to the book of Luke that Mary and Joseph were engaged. So now, after Jesus Christ was born, Jesus Christ was just born. After Jesus was born, the life now continued as the mother. Mary continued the life as, as mother. And then later she got married to Joseph. And then they start now having children. A lot of you people you don't know that Jesus Christ had brothers and sisters. Now, let's read this chapter. Matthew chapter 13, verse 55 to 56. Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? John chapter 7, verse 3 to 5. His brothers therefore said to him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see the works that you are doing. For no one does anything in secret, while he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers did not believe in him. So now we know, we know that according to the scripture, Jacob just wait, we know that. Jesus Christ had, had brothers and sisters. Even some of the brothers believed in him. Because Jesus Christ came in a human form. He was a human like you and I. He had feelings. So this simply means that Jesus Christ had brothers and sisters. He had brothers and sisters. So that, that means Mary, or I mean Jesus is not the only child of Mary. That means Joseph and Mary had children. So Jesus was his first born. Okay. So now many people today they are worshiping God. They may not know. They worship God in their flesh. You see the Bible says in the book of John. So now I will read it in the book of John. John chapter 4. John chapter 4 verse 22. Jesus first said the Samaritan woman, you worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such a worship. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So the Bible says, God is spirit. So. Don't ever make anything idol, whatever. God forbids any idol. 
today many people are worshiping God in the flesh. The Bible says God is spirit. Do you believe that God is right there beside you? But you cannot say God. It simply means that God is spirit. And then how can you worship such God you cannot see? You can worship that God through your spirit, through your inner man that God breathed into you in the garden of Eden, in the time of Adam. When God created Adam, he breathed into his nostril the breath of life. So that's the spirit of man. That's the spirit that we have. So if you want to watch more, there are other videos I've explained about the born again. You can find all this born again, the spirit. If you want to know more, you can just subscribe and also on your notifications so that you can know even if I post a new video, you can know it. You can see. So now what I'm, what I'm trying to say is we must worship God in the spirit. God whom we cannot see. Today many people have built shrines, idols of Mary Jesus. In the time of Jesus, who took the picture of Jesus or Mary? I know Mary, I want to take a picture. When Mary paused, I want to take a picture. Jesus paused, I want to take a picture. I'm sure I, it's a funny question, but it's true. No one took a picture of Jesus. I know many people, they say because Mary Magdalene, when Jesus was being beaten, he put the handkerchief on his face, and then that's where the face is came from. But I'm sure. I know if you need to try to wet your face, when you wet your face and then you take anything, a handkerchief or any cloth there, I don't think that your whole face will show that this is the one. No, that's just a misconception. So we'll be disappointed when we go even on that day of judgment and find that Jesus Christ is the different from the one we see. Even Mary is different from the one we see. You know, today people are happy. Jesus Christ, which is not wrong. You know, they want to show us how Jesus was lived. They want to show us the life of Mary, the life of Jesus, how we live from here on earth, which is not wrong. You know, you can bear me witness. There are many Jesus films here today. Me, I've watched maybe seven or six Jesus films, different types. So this simply means that those people, they just act. They just act to us to show us that Jesus Christ lived this kind of life. But now today, many people are taking those pictures, those images, and then putting them in their houses. And then they bow down to those pictures. the life of Jesus Christ, the way Jesus Christ lived. So we might not worship. You know, Jesus Christ or oh God hates idol worshiping. So now, let's read in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 to 5. You shall have no any other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, 
or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor save them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, to the third and fourth generation, to those who hate me. So now, take note of the words, are the gods any likeness of any image in the heaven, under the earth, or maybe under the water? Don't bow down to anything that is not God, because our God is a jealous God. So now, according to the book of the prophet, so does the Bible say, God is a jealous God. I'm sure you are taking note of the words there. God is a jealous God. Any man who makes anything in the likeness of any, anything in the heaven, on the earth, even in the water, under the earth, it's an image. He said, do not make anything of any likeness. So, if you take a picture of Mary, if you take a picture of Jesus, a likeness of Jesus, that means it's an idol. Anything you like him to God, like as I said, God is spirit. Do not like him God to anything. Anything you make, anything you form in the likeness of God, it becomes an idol. You must worship God in truth and spirit. Remember, Jesus said in John 14, he says, I am the only way, the truth, and the life. Jesus was his name, is the only way to heaven. No not anything. No. People, when you start worshiping Mary, Mary asks your son Jesus was yet to come. It means you are blocking your way to reach the prayer to reach God. No. When Jesus was said it is finished, the veil on the temple was cut in two. That means Jesus was now was the way. Jesus was now is the way for us to go to heaven. So now, whatever you put, it will block you to enter heaven. It will block the door. Jesus was saying, I am the door. He is the shepherd. Read in the book of John 10. Coming down, you hear that Jesus was saying, I am the door for the sheep. We are the sheep. So now, we must just pray to God the Father. Remember, he gave us the Trinity. Yes, we must pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If Mary was important, we would have said in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Mother. Maybe, no, but Mary is not included. It's just in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It simply means that we must just worship God in the truth and spirit. And then when we see all these things, God the Father is the Spirit. God the Son is the Spirit. God the Holy Spirit, they are all spirit. They all work in one. I will also teach another video about the Trinity. If you want to watch the video about the Trinity, you also search it, search it on, on YouTube and then you'll find the video, the video I've done about the Trinity so that you can know more about the Trinity. What is the Trinity? So if you want to know more, you can just subscribe and then hit the notification button so that you may see the video, the next video. And please, don't ever hear anything that someone is not is telling you which is not in the Bible. Find the truth in the Bible. No wonder why the Bible is translated in different languages so that you also can hear. The Bible is the only book which is translated in English, Chinese, whatever, Portuguese, Spanish, any language, even your language. So that means you can hear it and find the truth for yourself. Don't be cheated. No more truth. Know the truth and the truth shall make yourself set free. Jesus Christ said this. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Hi. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you really like it, please, if you have been blessed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so that you may be the first one to see my next video. Stay blessed. God bless you.